how time flies. I've been here for just over two weeks now. But I do know what day it is. I just checked the camera and it's, it's January the 11th, 2021. So this may not get posted for a while, but you'll know what day I, I did this filming. Now, I was supposed to be headed home this morning. That was the plan all the time. The longest I'd stay, I'd be heading out this morning. Well, you know, I've, I've had this story going all the time about losing a shoe, which is kind of a, it's, it, it's from the old Calvin and Hobbes cartoon feature where he didn't want to commit at night, and when his mom would call him, he'd yell, and he'd say, Hobbes lost a shoe, I can't come. Well, I've used that story so many times that anymore, I, I, I know Vonnie's on to me, and I'm sure of that because I kind of modified the story this time, but it still didn't work really right, because I told her yesterday, with Jim having packed up and moved out, the cabin was in such disarray that I had lost a shoe. Well, you know like how a border guard has these trick questions or questions that kind of trip you up? So right away she come back and asked me, was it the right or the left? Well, when I, when I couldn't answer, she knew that, that it was a lie. So anybody out there got a better ruse I can start using in the future, just let me know in the comments. I'm kind of running out. I can't this losing the shoes getting a little stale. But bottom line is, I get down in the last day or two, it's like, oh, just give me one more day, and I tend to do anything to make it happen. Drone man David did show up yesterday, as you saw on the last video. We went out and had some, got some good filming in, and a project I didn't even plan on doing was starting to haul some of them boulders in for the foundation of the cabin, new cabin. Now, if you don't roll those rocks out so easy, that's because last fall I had them rolled up on top of the ground and put a few small rocks underneath so there's no way they'd freeze down. And that went so well that this morning I've got some more further out. And while I had the snow dog out yesterday, I packed a trail over to them. There's a few little inclines in there and stuff like that, but it's, yeah, it's probably three-eighths of a mile over there to get them, but with the trail kind of packed and maybe froze a little bit last night, even though it hardly froze last night, but I'm hoping it did enough to firm up the trail so I can, because there's some pretty good sized boulders I'm going to try and pull back and, and get dumped up here in my rock pile for the foundation. Well, I got up, I haven't had breakfast yet, but I really don't, I don't know, I guess it's nervous about going home maybe, I don't know, last day, last day. So I think I'll have some breakfast later, but I did get all my water containers filled up, chopped out some more ice off the, where it drips off the eaves. To, I'll have my water by this afternoon. Everything will be topped off and ready for the next trip, which we're looking at maybe late February or coming up in March. Uh, we'll have to find some excuse to come, though, because all the logs and all the rocks that are available are done, but... I think I can get the Alaskan sawmill set up and we can start slabbing some of that wood. And, oh, I've been so busy with this, we haven't chopped up and split any firewood for the woodshed. So we got to spend a day or two on that, playing, getting that all hauled in. So we'll find some excuses to come back. that I rolled up here last fall. I wanted them up high in case we got a lot of rain and the water gathered down here in this old beaver basin. But I got them up, a few stones underneath them, so matter now to try to use gravity here to get them down into my, my wheelbarrow. There goes the first try. Challenge is I got to go up a slight 
not too bad of an incline get on top of the beaver dam and then dropping down the other side it's a lot steeper but I don't think it'll be an issue So a wheelbarrow has a lot of features you might not know about. I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's got its own dump mechanism, comes along with it. See? No extra charge for that one. I may not have been hungry earlier, but I sure am now. Get out there just after daylight. And Hold in three or four of those good sized boulders and then I checked that I had enough gas in the snow dog. I thought well, I'm going to run out the three miles out to the, the far road there where, where sometimes we park in the winter time and we'll probably have to park there if we come back later on in the winter. Well I wanted to pack the trail down good because we'll be able to commit a lot easier that way so anyway well, so it's 11 o'clock and I'm hungry. Kind of getting ready for the trip home tomorrow too. 
I had some flatbreads left. Got a pound of what I really like, Jimmy Dean sage sausage. So I'm going to cook up the sausage for breakfast and some of what I'll save on that flatbread to, to have a munchie on the way home. With all these COVID things, I don't walk into any gas stations or anything, so just playing it safe. Of a different way to slice up sausage, but going on that flatbread, so I think it'll work out a lot better. Got those sausages all done. Now I got some, got some farm fresh eggs for that David had dropped off. He said they have a lot of different colors. I can't imagine what the variety of chickens he has. That one looks normal. This one's a little small and green, but they sure are good. Oh man! And those shells—they don't—they don't break like those study eggs. You gotta, you gotta give them a pretty good whack to get them to crack. Got a little of that sausage grease in the bottom of the pan yet. Should flavor them up even better. Kind of, I like bacon, but I really like sausage too. Especially that Jimmy Dean sage. Sausages and eggs really, really hit the spot. I certainly appreciated it more at 11 o'clock than I was going at 7:30 this morning. I had a hard morning, so better. Get my multicolored vitamins so I can make it through the afternoon. Next job on the agenda, the packing up day is I'm going to get all the extra stuff, my saw, my skis, some extra boots, and I'm going to put them on the little red sled and I'm going to haul them out to the Subaru Outback, sitting a mile away. And then ideally in the morning when I leave here, all I'll have is a day pack on my back and I'll just walk out because the track is so hard packed I don't need the skis. But first, my multicolored vitamins. Well, I think I have all the stuff I don't need tonight. And got it packed on there. Some of it we'll, we'll be using next month or two, but I need it back in Illinois too, so I'll take it back. But. With the with the snow dog to bring it in the long way, it won't be any any issue bringing these supplies back in from now on. Remind me, but didn't I think that taking this extra day was going to let me really just goof off and do nothing? Well. After David and I got all them rocks yesterday and it went so well, I, I spent the morning hauling more and got ambitious, ran that six mile round trip out to the road and back, which that was no picnic, but it went a lot better than coming in. I got that load hauled out back and I better just sit here and rest a bit like I was supposed to be doing for two days. Put on some Sweet Dreams tea, getting ready for a good night's sleep. Three o'clock in the afternoon now. 
Still got some more things to do. Got to go down and retrieve a SD card out of a trail camera down there that's got some really good pictures of wolves and bobcats on it that I want to, to use for the videos of this segment. I got back, I got that T on there, and I just kicked back like that a little bit. A little Patsy Klein helped out, make the mood. Got to start winding down here. Yeah, well, the door's open. It's about freezing outside. I'm well dressed. Cabin's hot, so let it be. A little red breasted nuthatch. You coming in again? Bird in the doorway there. It got caught in here the other morning. I can see why now. I must like it in here. Been working on that leftover chicken out there all the time when the Canada Jays aren't at it, so you hear that? They get kind of noisy out there sometimes too. Makes it nice. Yeah, the trips, we're all done now. It's really nice though being able to drive in on this old forest lane and keep the vehicle within a one mile of the cabin for bringing, you know, a little back and forth and some of my goings and comings. It's, uh, with no logging going on, it's really rare to be able to to do this. If the, if the loggers are out and about, they doing some logging, of course, they'll have it all packed down real nice, but uh, they pretty much took all the aspen they wanted out of here years ago, and they haven't been back, so. Well, this is roads in a little better shape and packed down than it was when I came in, but again, that was a real surprise way back then on the series of Having drone man David in there with the fire going and everything else. So this trip has been fantastic from beginning to end. Just getting light enough. I can be looking for owls in the trees as I get out to some blacktop highways.